Hi everybody, Jenny with Bet in the Farm. It's time to make light of a dark situation. As many of you know, we live in a cabin. I love our cabin, but one of the downfalls of living in a cabin with all wood, it's a dark room. This is our living room and it is so dark in here. Um, now mind you right now, I've got a window open, got the door open, overhead light on, side light, and I've even got the light for all our hallway on. Um, and it is just so dark in here that it really needs brightened up. Now I know many of you may be cringing the fact that I'm going to paint the, <laughs> these wood walls and believe me it's with heavy heart that I'm going to do it. I've been putting it off and putting it off. It's just, especially this summer, you know, it's beautiful and sunny out and it's just so dark in here. Which don't get me wrong, it can help keep it a little cooler. It's just, especially in the winter, it's very depressing in a way. So today I'm going to do a whitewash. That way it's not a heavy white, um, but it's going to definitely brighten it up in here. So let's get busy. If you guys are lucky, I'm going to try to get Chad to do a video showing how he makes these. It's an acrylic pour. I just think they're absolutely gorgeous. And then I'm going to show you something I do that is super cool with the runoffs from these. That's coming up in the next video. Well, maybe not the next video, but a video coming up soon, promise. This to me is the worst part of painting, is taping off. Um, one thing I have learned over the years is that even though taping off cleaning and doing all that prepping is kind of time consuming and a bit of a pain it's definitely well worth it and it you know just take your time you don't have to hustle and, and really uh, go too fast when you're painting you get much better results if you just take your time a little bit and um, that's definitely one thing I've learned over the years is just to be a little more patient and not be so impatient and it's gonna look great when it's done So to do a whitewash, we're going to use, um, this is just a satin finish white premix I got from Walmart. Since I'm watering it down, I didn't really go the extra effort and spend a lot of money on a good paint. Um, but on a whitewash, I'm going to use one part uh, paint and two parts water. So I'm going to use this as my measuring cup, um, and I'm going to put it in this. So I'm doing three of the four walls. The wall that the TV's on is the one we're going to use as our accent wall. We're going to leave that one wood. Um, um, so I don't know how much I'm going to get done today. So this actually I've got lids for, so I thought it'd be good. I can close it up in case there's something I don't use. Um, the brush I'm going to use, I'm going to use a four inch all paint brush. Um, but that's what I'm doing. Pretty watery, you can see down in there. I don't want to spill it. All right, we're ready to start painting. Say goodbye to those pretty wood walls. I know, but I hope it's gonna look nice. It's gonna look a lot, a lot brighter, brighten up our living room. So, all right, time to get painting.
here's the final product. I think it looks pretty darn good. We're so happy it's so much brighter, just this one wall. It kind of has a bluish tint, and we think it's because of the um, dark wood behind it, but mis makes just such a huge difference. So now, this is the only wall I got done today, but I'm also doing this wall and this wall. The bookcase I'm gonna paint solid, and then I'm gonna whitewash around the fireplace and the window. So now this wall here is going to be left as our our natural wood wall. So that way when you walk in, I mean, I think it'd be really cool too with the pictures um, in front of it, but you know, I want to have some wood in here, you know, left natural. So anyway, that is my whitewashing a cabin wall for the first time video. Um, this is just for wall one. I'll bring you back when I do wall two and wall three. And here's a quick update after it's all done. It is just so much brighter in here. I love the rustic look. I was afraid that it would take away from the character of the living room, well, of the cabin and it doesn't at all. I just absolutely love it. So if you are considering whitewashing your cabin or dark colored walls or paneling, I'd do it. <laughs> I do, I absolutely love it. So I hope you like this video. I hope maybe you learned something um, it was my first time as well. It was very easy and, you know, one coat. So uh, the only thing I really had to watch was running and, um, and some did kind of run behind the tape a little bit, but I just went back with a washcloth and scrubbed it and it came right off. So I hope you like this video. I hope that you comment if you have any questions or comments, um, suggestions for me, put it down below. If you've not subscribed to us, please do so. And you can find us on Facebook and Instagram. See you folks. Bye. Mm -hmm.